Hello, Toastmasters and most welcome guests. Today I am going to talk about mentoring. One of the backbones of a Toastmaster club is this mentorship program. Shira Jacobs is our mentor chair this year, and I am her assistant. I became her assistant because I did volunteer for the mentor chair, so she looked at me and said, oh, Marisa, I really wanted that job. And how can you say no to that? <laughs> I couldn't because I raised daughters, and I could never say no to her. But daddy. <laughs> well, I was their father. I didn't know I was actually their mentor, too. Then they grew up. I'm not sure if I did. But what I learned from my children growing up is that they need direction as well as I need direction. When I joined Toastmasters about four years ago, I realized that I was getting so much direction from people I didn't even know that I was being mentored. I was their mentee, and the great part about that is they didn't know that they were my mentor. Although I had one specific mentor, I was learning from everybody in the club. So I take mentorship very serious, and what I'm going to do today is talk about mentorship from the Toastmaster website, you can all get this on the TI website. Okay, it's very easy to look at, download. I even made a book out of it. If you download the pictures, I believe my, my, my book is right there. I downloaded the book, made a book out of it so he can sign the book. So this is all download is free. I, I suggest everybody go to the TI website, just search mentorship and this program will come up. It's a PowerPoint program, but the most important thing about today's speech for me is not to be robotic and talk about what TI tells you what a mentor is. I have experience being a mentor as well as a mentee because I, for one, have had five mentees at one time. I do that because I learn from them. The more mentees I have, the more I can learn to be a better mentor. And the more I learn to be a mentor, the more mentees I can take on. Now, what happens in the Toastmaster Club normally is we get, new men, we get new members, they come here all fired up to learn to be a better speaker, to tell jokes at a wedding, to give a toast, and go on to be a DMT and make $150,000 a speech. How many here want to do that? <laughs> well, come on, I do. <laughs> well, you can't do that without being a mentee to somebody. Even if they're not your personal mentee, we learn from reading books, we learn from watching movies, we learn from watching people fail. And failing at anything is nothing more than a step in the right direction that you want to go in. That's all it is. And the PowerPoint, we're going to, don't you love when technology doesn't work? Okay, what is a mentor? A mentor takes a personal interest and it helps. Well, we all know that. Okay? A mentor is the person that sets the example. And if we go to the next one, we're going to see that the mentor also serves as a role model, a coach, and a confidant. Confidant is very important because what we're trying to do is we're trying to break through to the mentee that they can improve. We're trying to break through to them that they actually have what it takes to be a good Toastmaster, to be a good speaker. And then they eventually the mentee becomes the mentor. Because if you're a mentee and you don't plan on being a mentor, why would you want to be a mentee? A little play on words there. It's okay, you can laugh. Okay. <laughs> Offer knowledge, insight, and perspective. Now, if you don't have knowledge, you can't teach. Knowledge doesn't come just from Toastmaster meetings. Knowledge comes from your business, your job, your work, your schooling. What have you done in your lifetime? Are you a sports person? Pilates. I'm sorry the way I'm dressed today. I did have a Pilates class just before here, too. And I'm still in my Pilates clothes. So. <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny, I ran three miles before I did my class. Okay? <laughs> Help someone become successful. Now, we're all here for personal growth. Uh, I love the theme today. The theme came up, I didn't know what the theme was. I plan on doing this three weeks ago when I decided to do this speech today. What we're looking at here when you say help someone become successful is be their parent, be their friend, be their brother, be their sister. Get to know them on a personal level. And what we're going to come up with is learn the program. Well, the program is easy to learn. It's all set for you on the TI website. That's robotic. Learning a program is very robotic to me. You can learn how to play baseball, learn how to swing the bat, learn how to grab the ball, but you're not going to be great. Because if you don't have love for the game, if you don't have you know, the love for your players, if you don't have the things that you need to do, you're not going to be great, you're going to be average. So what we're going to do now is take the, learn the club standards and the customs. 
very robotic. Okay? I'm going to end this program here because I don't want to be robotic. What I want to give you is the feeling that what it takes to be a mentor is right here. To watch somebody grow. In my first profession, I have taken dishwashers. They couldn't speak English. They thought they'd be a dishwasher all their life. And I can give you three names right now. I won't because I'm not a name dropper. Okay? <laughs> They're not dishwashers anymore. They became executive chefs. And it was not easy for them. First, they had to learn English. Then they had to learn how to put food on the plate instead of just take the food off and clean the plate. It was very difficult for them. And I say three and became executive chefs, but I've had hundreds of dishwashers during my 40-year career. I've had probably thousands of dishwashers during my career. But to see three people go on to become something they never thought they'd be, that can only come from teaching them from the heart. And that's what a mentor is. If you can't put your heart and soul into mentoring somebody, please, don't waste their time. Maybe you have time to waste and you want to be the mentor of the club. Oh, I'm the mentor of this. I'm the mentor. Don't do that. Embrace the new member. Teach them what you know. Teach them what a CC is. Teach them to grow. Give them your heart. Give them your mind. Give them a piece of soul. Help them break through to their next level and so they become the mentor. Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>